dress the way you want to be addressed. And I think that in that sense, it's making me feel like I'm a part of the society integrating back in. After 42 years behind bars for a double murder, the state now says they did not commit cousins James Soto and David Ayala. They are getting new wardrobes to start their new lives. Yeah, these makeovers come courtesy of a Southside organization that works to empower underprivileged men. Yes, Fox 32's Dane Placco reports on the difficulties that they and others face learning to adjust to a world that is now radically different. I'm not bitter for all the years that we lost because there's blessings in that. My perspectives changed, my priorities changed. 60-year-old David Ayala and his 62-year-old cousin James Soto are still adjusting to a world that has changed drastically since they went to prison in 1981. My brother-in-law has Netflix. I want to watch a movie, we can get the movie. <laughs> Speak into something, the movie comes out. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, it's really great. Two weeks ago, Ayala and Soto were released from prison after a judge vacated their convictions on a double murder in McKinley Park. Prosecutors agreed to the release after key witnesses recanted their testimony. And now Soto says he wants to become a lawyer to help others like himself. Being a lawyer, I'm going to be wearing plenty of suits. And uh, so it's getting started right now is a, a good way to acclimate myself to that profession. Today, the cousins joined another exonerated former prisoner, Fabian Santiago, in getting some custom-made suits, shirts, and ties, shoes, and styling, courtesy of the Project Gentleman Image and Grooming Studio in Bridgeport, an organization that helps empower men for successful careers. Hey, when you look good, you feel good. When you feel good, you do good. And when you do good, the great news is that they pay good. And <laughs> that's the ultimate goal is for um, our friends here to look good, to feel good, and also to do good. Santiago, who's been out the longest, says even though he's been exonerated and has a certificate of innocence, he still faces discrimination from potential employers. Employers didn't care whether or not I was unlawfully incarcerated. The fact that I was incarcerated was in enough for them not to want to have any kind of association for me. Which is why the exonerated men believe that by dressing for success, they'll achieve success. I just can't say enough how, how good it makes you feel to be in it. In Bridgeport, Dane Placco, Fox 32 Chicago.